G'day guys. So um, I'm just going to make a lure. So I'm just going to show you how to make a lure. I've got some here. It's pulled up. So that's it there. I've got the GoPro and I've got my other camera. So I mean, that's what it is there. Really. So that's just what it is. Just a little lure, like a squid sort of thing. With a couple of hooks. So I'll show you how to make it. And um, yeah. So first of all, you need a bit of fishing string. I don't know what this stuff's called, but it's like rated at 300 pounds. So I've got a line here, just so I've got a line so it's easy to cut things out with. So you get hard at 250 mil long, and you get your scissors. This stuff's hard to cut, so it's like yeah, cut that through. Then you fold in half, just like this. So it's in half there. And you crease that. And you come down and just do an overhand knot at um, 40 mil. Oh, I messed that up. So you just do an overhand knot at 40 mil. So just like that, just normal overhand knot. Push it up if you have to. Bring it down. So we push this up a bit more. Uh, right there. So just over here, you won't see on the other camera. So just here, I've got a nail that make sure that it's all tight. So really, that's what this looks so far. Just a loop. Go and focus that. So it's just a loop, just a loop, and um, there and two two tail two tag ends. So just all it is is a knot, two tag ends. Then you come over, jump over here. And you get a hook. And we'll chuck the hook in the little vice here. So make sure you, so you, this is the front end. So you push, um, get through there like that. Just push it through there. Along the shank, over the shank. Come back through over itself and back through the hole. Just like that. And you just hold that there and pull that tight. So that's not coming anyway. So you get your little scissors things now. And just cut that off. She's a bit hard to cut but she gets there. So once you actually get that there like that, so she end up like that. So just a little overhand knot over my hook. If you can see that, it's a bit blurry, but anyway, you get the gist of it. Then you get a lighter. The lighter's just here somewhere, just right in front of me. Then you get the lighter, and just sear that off a bit. So you get a bit of like a end over the knot so you can't lose it and then she's tied on there pretty good. And just for good measures you put it back in the voice. Good quality Australian made. New bit of super glue. And just put a bit of super glue over it like that. It will stiffen the string up but at least you won't fall apart. So you just get there like that. So that's what it is. So you got that done. So you come over the other side, you get another hook, do the same thing to the other side. See, so because you've got two hooks. So um, you just do it again. Go through from the front, like that, over the shank, back over itself. Through the hole, just hold that there. And you, got, you pull that knot tight, don't hook yourself with the other hook. Right, cut, then you cut this off. You cut it off a bit. Two, one or two mil. Then you flip it upside down. See the knot. Then you chuck it back in. The voice. So be careful, kids, if you do this, be careful. You don't burn yourself. So you just do a bit of super low again, 
over the knot. Just like that. In the eye if you want to. Just make sure that it's all good. So um, there you go. So that's what it looks like there. You've just got two hooks and a loop. That's all it is. Just two hooks and a loop. So you get a bit of um, nylon fishing line. You throw it through that loop. Just like that. And you come over here and get two beads and thread um, the bead through the fishing line and over there. Don't do the second one just yet. Then you get these little squid looking things. The squid looking things, that's all they are. So you just get those, that's what they look like, two eyes, you know, not that fancy. Oh, they get fancy when you start making these. And then you get this pair of scissors and just cut the end off, like that, because it's sealed at the top. You can't really put jig heads. It's not really used for, yeah. So you just try and fit that to the end there. Up through the hole. So you just try and get that up through there, like that. And then you just pull that through. Then you have to try and get the little bead up in there, like that. So that's what it looks like so far. That's all it is. So then you get the you nylon, know, keep the nylon on there because you need it. And you put the other bead over top of it. Stop cutting on them. So that's all it is. Just like that. Then you take your nylon off and you get a solid stainless steel ring. Make sure that it's stainless steel so they don't come undone. So um, then you put that just you hook loop straight through there, pull it down, spread. So you just put that over there. Then you spread that open and push the ring back through itself so it ends up like that so it just ends up as a knot like that and you just pull it tight so we go back to our nail again just pull it tight like that so I nail and create that in the voice and you get super low again and then just super low that knot just like that And that super glue dries. So once that super glue dries, then you've got yourself a perfectly good lure. They so can sit up there to dry. So I just got. So. It's a red one, isn't it? So this is what it comes out as. Once you've finished. Um, so that's what it looks like when you're finished. Just a nice little thing. So yes, it has no um, weight on it. We don't need that because we got we've been making our own weights up. We've been moulding our own weights with a bit of wire and a split ring, and the split ring goes on the solid ring, and that's what your weight is. So we've just been making these, and um, so it just that's all it does is just you slip ring on your solid. So that's what we've been doing. Um, so yeah, that's how you make a nice little. Lure, flathead, um, brim, any sort of fish. If you catch these over um, the reef, any fish over the reef will like it. Just any fish at all, really. So, yeah, you fish it with it. So, you just put it on your clip. Or a clip here to show you. So, you just put it on your clip like that with your sinker. And you let it fall down to the bottom. And then as it hits the bottom, you jig it up, just jig it up and then let it fall like a big jig let it fall and the fish you do you bite it on the fall so um hope you guys enjoyed that video um if you want to see more lure making product videos this is the first one but if you want to see more make sure you hit that subscribe button like the video and comment down below that you want to see more um, lure making videos and um i'll catch you in the next one that's it there cheers guys